I dig into this. This is a little lesson that my mom taught me. So before I eat my meal, I think I've been doing this since I was like 10 maybe, but before I eat my meal, I always just like get quiet first. Sometimes I'm just kind of like giving thanks for this food. Sometimes I'm just like taking a breath before I eat. You're just like going about your day with a certain energy, you're rushing around, maybe you've had a hard day, you're frustrated or whatever, and you're gonna eat with that same energy. So I always just like take a second before I dig into my food. Usually I'll just kind of like say in my head like, thank you for this food. I'm so excited to be eating this beautiful meal. I am so grateful for this meal. Bless this food that it gives me the energy that I need and nutrients that I need to move me through this day. And then I'll eat. Okay, this is so yummy. Mixing it all up. Yum, yum, yum. People who know cold weather, you know that having your like eyelashes frozen is the most bizarre feeling in the world. I just got back from a little outing. I just had to run some errands. I dropped off some prints that I had left over from a sale in December. But I dropped them off at this tattoo studio because they're gonna sell them for me, which is so nice. And then just like ran some errands. Oh yeah, and then I went and picked up this book from this person who was moving and getting rid of some stuff, so I got this book for free. This is going to be a very cool source of inspiration and, I don't know, creative inspiration, I'm sure. Oh, there's a page that was something cut out. I just like flipped open a page and then there's this sticking out. It looks like there's like a chunk missing but it says, of dying will receive empty promises. Oh, this is probably dying. Hunting ducks. Oh, this is so weird. Okay, that means nothing to me. Okay, I don't wanna, that's creeping me out a little bit. Okay, anyway, so I got that book and then I also got a bottle of wine because I think I'm seeing some friends later. I think for now, I'm gonna have some lunch. I'm gonna make some soup and watch the new episode of Drag Race. This is what I'm wearing today. I have these striped slacks that I bought, low rise from the thrift store, just like a plain black turtleneck, and then this bleached um, t-shirt that I made for uh, the sale that I did back in December. And then this little bib bay hat that my friend Zidia gave me. twice with the short hair and it's turned out fine it's been okay i still get my hair cut professionally done my hair just grows so fast that like after a month it starts to get shaggy and like 
chunky and poofy. Oh, you're falling. So I'm just gonna try to thin it out a little bit. Like we're really just trying to focus on the, like these areas here. Cause also this side of my hair is a little bit thicker than this one. So I think it's a little bit more noticeable on this side. Okay, let's go. I have some hair cutting scissors that I got from the pharmacy, a little comb and uh, I have a razor. I saw someone on YouTube do this where they used razor as like a hair razor. Really don't recommend you do this, but when I did it, it worked. So maybe try it, I don't know. Also, another thing that I've done before is I'll like comb it all one way and I'll just cut like straight into it in a couple different areas just to like thin it out. Just in the areas that are like super thick. I'm kind of just like feeling it out and like seeing where it's a little bit too like thick and chunky. I think we're done. It's a little flat right now because I was brushing it, but I think the sides look so much nicer. They're just much shorter and like the bulk's been cut out. Again, like I didn't cut the length, I just cut the like chunkiness out. So now it just kind of lies a little bit flatter and looks shorter. And then I also just like cut my, into my bangs a little bit the same way that I did all the way around. I have a shower and I'll be right back. I'm really happy with how my hair turned out. Feels lighter. Feel the weight is like completely gone. So that's really nice. I'm really happy with it. Very glad that I did that. It made me feel very like refreshed. some things that I have to get done today. I'm working on some album art for my friends, so I have to like scan some artwork that I was doing and do some editing to it. If I have time, I wanna go look at some glasses because I really need a new pair of glasses. For work, I'm on the computer all day and then by the end of the day, I just have like a crazy migraine for the rest of the night. So I need to get the like blue light glasses and I kind of want to get my nails done. I haven't done that in a long time, but it always just makes me feel very like polished. Monday's Valentine's Day and I kind of want to just like do something special for myself. So maybe I'll do that. Maybe that'll be like the big incentive to get everything done that I need to this morning. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, -bye. Bye. Yay. <laughs> Oh, that's so fun. Okay. It's just the little thing, something to look forward to. that I really like. These are the ones that I've just kind of been thinking about for a while. I think this is what I want to go with. I really like the color of these ones. I got my glasses. I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. This is the case that I got for them. I really hope they fit. Oh my god. I'm nervous. <gasps> Okay. They're definitely like pretty wide on my face. 
This is just like a random Thursday and I received this. Usually I film on the weekends, um, but I couldn't wait. So here we are. These glasses, hair up. Adorable. Saturday. Um, I went to my friend's place last night for a little Valentine's Day, early Valentine's Day dinner party. It was so nice. We made cocktails. We had delicious food. It was so lovely. I just got back from having brunch at my friend's work. Yeah, it was so nice, but I definitely am feeling not like a person right now. <laughs> yeah, like I had a nice time last night. Um, it was nice to see friends, um, but I'm definitely feeling very burnt out today. I think it's time to get in my pajamas. Oh yeah, and then tonight, Jacob and I are making some homemade pizza. here thank you so much for watching i'm so happy that i could be a part of your day if you would like you can press the subscribe button give me a little like and follow me on instagram so that we can stay connected see you next time